police have tracked down a killer whose crimes span the country. The man accused of killing a Maryland mother of five on a popular hiking trail has been captured in Oklahoma. Rachel Marin was dragged from a hiking trail in Maryland where she was raped and murdered. Hernandez allegedly has ties to the notorious MS-13 gang and entered the country illegally in February of last year. The sheriff says that he fled to the U.S. illegally after murdering a woman in El Salvador in January of 2023. Just one month before he entered the U.S. last year, Interpol issued an arrest warrant. For Hernandez. We are 1,800 miles away from the southern border, and the American citizens are not safe because of failed immigration policies. This is the second time in just two years that an innocent Harford County woman has lost her life to a criminal in our country illegally. As far as I'm concerned, the Biden administration has the blood of Rachel Morin on their hands. Two officers were shot overnight. The suspect also shot in the exchange of gunfire. Police also saying that suspect Bernardo Raul Castro Mata currently resides at a migrant shelter not too far away from here. Christian Inga was arraigned today in New York City on charges of sexually assaulting a 13-year-old girl after school last week in a shocking daylight attack. Police say the 25-year-old migrant from Ecuador approached two teens in the park at Knife Point. According to the criminal complaint, the suspect tied the boy and girl to one another, gagged them, then raped the girl before fleeing the scene. Police say Inga entered the U.S. illegally through Eagle Pass, Texas, back in 2021. We've also learned from law enforcement here in New York that Christian Inga Landi was actually ordered to go back to Ecuador just a year later in 2022. Had he been deported, we may not have this case that has really struck a chord with people here in New York City, but even people around the country. A Venezuelan gang known as Tren de Aragua has victimized thousands through extortion, drug and human trafficking, kidnapping and murder. And now U.S. law enforcement, including Customs and Border Protection and the FBI, say the gang has made their way into the country. U.S. Border Patrol Chief Jason Owens, who has confirmed multiple arrests of alleged Tren de Aragua members over the last year, issued a warning in early April after reporting yet another arrest. Watch out for this gang, he said. It is the most powerful in Venezuela known for murder, drug trafficking, sex crimes, extortion, and other violent acts. Today, an illegal immigrant who killed someone in Troy is set to be sentenced. Carlos Corrales Ramirez pleaded guilty to the deadly stabbing last month. He admitted to killing a man near River and Dow Streets last, no last September. The Honduras native was also charged with a stabbing in Maryland last February. He was arrested for that crime, but was later released because Maryland officials never extradited him. Eight individuals, all from the Central Asian country of Tajikistan were arrested in Los Angeles, New York, and Philadelphia. They entered the United States this year and in 2023, crossing the Mexican border. They were vetted and allowed to remain in the country. CBS News has learned further investigation uncovered the men had possible ties to ISIS-K. Five men in the U.S. illegally were arrested Monday morning in Northeast Missouri after a teenage girl was reported missing in Indiana. The suspects are accused of kidnapping the 14-year-old from her home. They were tracked down in Macon County. All five of these men are charged with second-degree kidnapping and first-degree endangering the welfare of a child. The developments in the brutal abduction and murder of a 12-year-old Texas girl whose body was found dumped in a bayou. Police arrested 21-year-old Johan Jose Ronhel Martinez and 26-year-old Franklin Jose Pina Ramos, both illegal migrants from Venezuela. Surveillance video appeared to show both men with the girl just hours before she was found dead. Both men have been charged with capital murder, critics blaming Jocelyn's death on President Biden's border policies.